Good day, South Africans. Um, Advocate Mekwa speaks here. You know, it's 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 really with a sad heart that I I want to make this video and to to just urge come to to appeal to peace loving South Africans that we must remember who we are. Not only remember who we are, but understand that sometimes we can say the right things, do the right things, and as legal people, we can come and accept what the law says and be right on principle. As right as I was, about the need for process, due process, the need to respect the law and the rule of law and all of these nice things that form the essence of who we are as South Africans, as a country that prides itself to have one of the best uh, constitutions in the world, but also people that, that love this nation and that wants to see the best for every single one of us. You know, our children getting opportunities and people being employed and every single one of our potential being, you know, enhanced. There's one thing that we must accept. And that is the current state in the country. As much as people can argue that Jacob Zuma might have been a catalyst in this issue, but the issues of South Africans are much deeper than the release of Jacob Zuma. It's about the missed opportunities, the unemployment. It's about government that has not meaningfully responded to the needs of the people lack of service delivery. It's about systems that are collapsing. It's about corruption. It's about, you know, crime that has taken root in our country. It's about so many things more than just about um, the issue of Jacob Zuma. And despite all of these things, I, I just want to appeal to you that sometimes we will die because we are right, right? The country, we can destroy it because we are right, all right? What I mean is we are right that Jacob Zuma is not a special person alone in this country and that the country cannot bend backwards for him or to suit him as an individual. We are right that many other people had to understand and accept judgments of the courts even when they felt that they were done in. That is our system and is the only system that we have. But at this point in time, legally or legality or rule of law, or whatever, is not going to stop people from continuing the anarchy, the violence on the streets. We need leaders, every corner of our country, civil society, business leaders to come out and speak to the nation and call for calm and stability. We need Jacob Zuma himself to come and condemn these violent acts that are taking place in our country. We need to urge restraint from every corner of our society, from every grouping, from law enforcement, we, we are urging, or I'm urging for restraint. But more than restraint, I urge that as peace-loving South Africans, we must really go back and reflect genuinely about our country, about systems that we have in place, about structural inequalities in our country and say how can we solve them how can we go 
and solve these issues so that the sins of this past weekend do not rear their ugly head. I want to appeal to you, South Africans, to loot and destroy everything, whether you believe the economy belongs to white people or not, it's not going to help us. Whether you believe looting a mall does not affect you, it's not going to help us. Because in the end, the way the system is structured, it is the downtrodden, it is the poor, it is the marginalized that will continue to suffer the brunt of these current sins. While these business people go back and claim insurance and recover their losses, unfortunately for some of us, we won't be able to recover the losses. For some of us, we won't be able to retain our jobs. For some of us, those businesses that we started with a little and almost nothing that we had, we won't be able to recover those losses. I urge for calm. And I conclude by saying, sometimes even when we are right, we need to reach out to each other in our differences for the better outcome for our country. The current situations, the current scenes are not taking us anywhere, South Africa. It seems that we are going down the slope and that we are on a path that would lead us to a failed state. Now it's, one, it's just one of those countries where leaders do whatever they want. We don't want things like that. But at the same time, what South Africans value is peace and stability, normality. It's an environment where they can go on about doing their businesses, go and provide for their families and work in harmony and peace, where investor confidence can be nurtured, an environment where all of us can be the best that we can be. I'm, for a moment, leaving my legal head. For a moment, I am leaving my legal head, South Africa. Listen to me, for a moment, I'm putting my legal head down and I'm asking for leadership in this country. The politicians of this country, I'm talking to you. Don't take this for granted. Work for unity, but more importantly, work to solve the root causes that are driving the current outrage in our country. It is, I promise you, it's beyond a Jacob Zuma issue. It might have been the catalyst, but there's so many dynamics. And yes, maybe the president can come and say ethnic mobilization, but that cannot be the end of it all in terms of the analysis. It's much deeper than that. Although there are elements of that, but it, the, this whole issue is much bigger South Africa. Let us go back into our houses. Let us go back, put our weapons away, stones away, and let us work to build and not shut down this country, to unite our people and to ensure that we become a better nation that's able to take its place in the family of nations. I love you, South Africa.